Welcome back to my YouTube. And before we start the video, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe um, so that you can get, you know, all the upcoming videos. It's fairly new for me, but we're going to be rocking this thing, okay? So we got a lot of different um, things coming, you know. Um, fashion, food, family, friends, fun. That's what we're about. Okay, so go ahead and subscribe so you can get all the upcoming videos. I'm going to try to keep them rolling on regular. Today, um, my YouTube babies, I forgot to mention, I am amazing I am. Um, today, we're going to be showing you this easy chicken enchilada is one of my favorite dishes um, I'm going to be walking you through the steps showing you basically um, how to make it and look y'all can put y'all own little twists on it look this y'all life y'all do what y'all want to do with y'all chicken enchilada okay I'm just showing you how I make mine okay don't be judge me <laughs> So anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to walk you guys through it. Thanks for watching. Again, subscribe, like, comment, and be a part of the family because we're going to grow together, okay? Y'all going to grow with me? I'm going to grow with y'all. Love you guys. Stay tuned. Here are your ingredients. Um, my Victoria's green enchilada sauce, diced tomatoes with green chilies, olives and a small can of green chili, cilantro, green onion, regular onion if you want, tomato. Okay. Um, so those are going to be your ingredients. Um, and be right back. So what I did um, was at my local grocery store. I got a 10 pound bag of leg quarters and um, you can kind of do this the way you want to and just put it in a pot of water season the water with just salt um, I've seen some people throw onion in there celery I've, I've tried it it doesn't do anything to me for the taste or texture of the chicken um, and I let pretty much let it boil till it cooks okay um, and that just varies. I kind of do this in a kind of semi-frozen because that's how I bought it. Um, which is still going to do the same thing in the end. So we're just going to let this boil, fully cook. And then we will start getting pieces out. And we'll start shredding the chicken for our chicken and chicken. Okay, so as you can see, um, um, I'm getting the chicken leg quarters. And I'm just taking them, separating them here from the bones and the skin and whatever fat. And I'll come back and go through this and just make sure um, to the chicken. Now, if you want to use, um, you know, chicken breast, whatever works for you, it's still going to taste good after you get it all flavored. You know, I prefer dark meat, but. Hey, whatever works for you okay so let's go ahead and finish getting this shredded be back in a second okay so this is like the finished product of like the shredded it's not finely shredded um i went through and just make sure like there's no little bones or you know any parts of the hard part of the chicken the gristle um and i'll continue to look for that so at this point now what i'm going to do is just go in and season it and you can season with whatever you want to season with I'm gonna use some garlic powder. Uh, just a second, let me show you. All right, everybody, say hi to my sous chef. This is Dreamsicle. Hi. She is so excellent, has a wonderful help in the kitchen with me. Love her. Okay, so we, we have our um, our baking glass pan. And we're just oh, gonna. I remember we made these when Lisa were here. Was yeah. here. It's kind of like a lasagna. We're going to, it's like um, chicken -y. You know, spread some sauce down at the bottom so it's not sticky. This one too, right? Um, and then when we start layering the sauce, I'm going to use some red sauce. Yeah. Okay. okay, so let's 
go ahead and get some sauce in here. Not too much. We're just going to get the bottom wet so that our shells are not sticky. Basically, think but, of this. Okay, so the next thing we're going to end up doing is um, getting the shells out. Now, some people like to take the shells, fry them a little bit. Um, you know, fry them just a little bit enough to where you can roll them. Some people actually do this in a layering effect. Um, I'm just going to warm them up and roll them. Some people like to kind of like cook them a little bit in the sauce in the pan. I'm not doing that either. I'm being lazy tonight. Um, I'm just going to warm them up, get them soft enough, flexible enough, and um, just roll them and then we'll start layering. Um, to mix the chicken, um, the La Victoria, I like mild, I don't like my stuff spicy. Hi. Okay, so this is the consistency that we're looking for. Not too like over soupy wet. and not too dry. Not dry. Um, look how you see how it looks moist. Mm-hmm. But not too okay, moist. So that's what I could take all the flavor out. So we'll do that. I don't buy anything fancy. I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic salt, and not too much of that. A little bit of total seasoning. Um, some garlic powder. My cumin, okay, that cumin has that, like that Mexican taste to it, and some onion powder, okay? So I'm gonna season it to taste. I'll be adding some of the chicken broth, um, and then I like to add some of the enchilada sauce. And let me show you this. this one. That's because we didn't get the shell soft enough. Um, that's okay. What we're gonna do now is get the top and the layers going. So we're gonna pour some of this over. We're gonna pour some of this over, and then we're gonna use the brush to kind of help help um, spread it. Okay, do this how you want to. If you want to use your hands, you just want to dump it over there. Yeah, go ahead. So, I'm going to get that spread it. Just like that. Get them all nice and coated. Again, if you don't have a brush, you can use your hands. If you just want to just put it on there. Do whatever way you want to do. Girl, I like got enchiladas. Okay. My, I had a friend tell me to even add on um, a can of chicken mushroom soup. Now, I forgot to get that today, but girl, we will be adding that for the next time. Okay, so now we got the sauce to spray this, and now we're going to do the layers. I always put my chicken, my cheese, I'm sorry, I always put my cheese last. And if you like, if you're one of the people that like to put chicken in the mixture of the, or cheese in the mixture of the chicken, or all your, you know, all your condiments hey do what make you happy like it's your life food do what make you happy it's your life okay you got to live your life okay okay so let's get the cheese going we're gonna just start layering use whatever type of cheese you want okay if you want to get the block cheese shred that up hey do Didn't I say, do it make you happy? Y'all better, y'all better listen to me. Y'all better listen to me. Do it make you happy. Don't dump the whole thing. What was that? Oh. Okay, so we're just going to start layering. Like do an even layer. And after we do this, we're going to just layer, do cheese, and then you're going to do your condiments. You're going to do your olives. You're going to do your green onions. You're going to do... If you want to add the cilantro now, you can do that. And add some tomatoes, some chilies. Hey, what I tell y'all? Okay, so we're going to get that done just to preserve some of this video because I do like to see a long freaking video. We'll be back, okay? Chill out. We'll be right back. You know how the magic of the camera works. All right, guys. We're all about that presentation. What? What? 
what y'all got to say? And the reason why y'all got this is because I had a little bit of meat left. So, look, we're going to use everything. Y'all better stop playing with me. We're going to use everything, okay? So, on one pot, we just did green sauce. On this pot, I did green sauce and the red sauce. And usually, red sauce, I usually um, do with the ground beef. But I kind of came up, you know, accidentally came up on something one time and tasting good to her body so we're gonna pop these things in the oven let these things rock out you know for about 35 minutes okay just keep checking it i'm at about 350 degrees um we're gonna cover up with some foil and then we'll be back 